Hello everybody, welcome to Anablox. We have some exciting things to talk about in this video, and the topic we're going to focus on today is the top 5 samurai anime series. But of course, before we dive into this video, I've got a question for you. Have you subscribed to this channel yet? If you aren't, you're missing out on quite a lot here. So make sure to subscribe so that you will always get the latest information about anime from us. Anyways, like I said in the beginning, let's dive right into this video. Berserk Berserk, which debuted in the late 1990s and was rebooted in 2016, is one of the most acclaimed and influential samurai anime of all time. The story follows a mercenary named Guts, aka the Black Swordsman, who vows to avenge his odious mentor, Griffith, who leads the ruthless band of the Hawk, samurai with relentless swordplay and comicant bloodshed. Guts, who has been branded for death and is destined to be hunted by demons until the day he dies, embarks on a journey to defy such a heinous fate as waves of beasts relentlessly pursue him. Taking up the monstrous blade Dragon Slayer, he vows to exact vengeance on the perpetrator, hunting down the very man he once looked up to and considered a friend. Along the way, he meets some unlikely allies including Puck, a small elf, and Isidro, a young thief hoping to learn swordsmanship from the former mercenary. As the motley crew gradually comes together after deciding to join Guts on his quest, they will face incredible danger unlike anything they have ever faced before. Afro Samurai Afro Samurai is a highly entertaining clash of cultures that finds a black samurai out to settle a personal vendetta in Japan, following the merciless murder of his father. Created by Takashi Okazaki and voiced by the legendary Samuel L. Jackson, the resulting flavor is far more unique than most anime with a brilliant blend of futuristic samurai action, sci-fi fantasy, black exploitation, and hip-hop music. Afro Samurai knows its audience and uses its self-awareness to capture the imagination by conflicting black culture with Japanese traditions. With constant swordplay and intense carnage geared for more mature audiences, there's nothing else like it on the market. Gintama Edo is a city that saw the vigor and ambition of samurai from all over the country. However, since feudal Japan surrendered to powerful aliens known as the Amanto, those ambitions appear to be unattainable. With the once powerful shogunate rebuilt as a puppet government, a new law is enacted that immediately prohibits the use of swords in public. Enter Gintoki Sakata, an eccentric silver-haired man who always carries a wooden sword, and despite the ban maintains his samurai status. Gintoki frequently embarks on endeavors to help others as the founder of Yorozuya, a small business for odd jobs though usually in rather strange and unexpected ways. The show's sheer longevity demonstrates its popularity, providing a consistent level of amusement that few series can match. Blade of the Immortal Manji is a notorious swordsman in feudal Japan known as the Hundred Man Killer, for killing 100 innocent men. However, there is something far more terrifying than his ominous reputation. He is immortal. This is the work of Yaobi Kuni, an 800-year-old nun who implanted bloodworms capable of healing almost any wound in Manji's body. Manji decides to kill 1,000 evil men to atone for his crimes. Yao Bikuni agrees to this proposal, stating that if he is successful, she will remove his curse of immortality. Soon after making this promise, Manji meets Rin Asano, a 16-year-old girl who asks Manji for help in killing those who murdered her parents. Manji initially refuses Rin's desperate plea, However, due to Rin's obvious weakness, Manji changes his mind and agrees to protect her for four years. With this agreement in place, the two set out on a perilous journey of bloodshed, vengeance, and redemption, each seeking to fulfill their own life's purpose. Ruruni Kenshin The story is set in 1878 Japan and follows vagabond samurai Himuru Kenshin, who stumbles upon a martial arts school and vows to teach the locals how to repent for killing a shogun. Hitokiri Batusai was a legendary assassin who lived in the final years of the Bakumatsu era. He was feared throughout the country as a merciless killer, but mysteriously vanished at the height of the Japanese Revolution. Although it has been 10 years since then, the mere mention of Batsuai still strikes fear into the hearts of war veterans. Unbeknownst to them, Batusai has abandoned his blood-stained lifestyle in order to atone for his sins. And now, he is known as Kenshin Himura, a wandering swordsman with a positive attitude and a strong will. Kenshin vows never to kill again and devotes himself to protecting the weak. That's it for today. Since you guys have reached here, I just want to remind you to subscribe so you will not miss any of our upcoming anime videos. 
Also, like the video as it helps us beat the YouTube algorithm and lets this topic be delivered to more people. And lastly, share this video so we can inform others. With that, thank you so much for watching, goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video.